Hello everyone, and welcome to this Nintendo Life episode 269. Nice. Nice. Now, I, uh, <laughs> I have a story to tell you that I don't know that you've you've heard. So um, okay. when we were Does when it we were 69? at it does it okay, does right. involve 69. So uh, when we were at your dinner before your wedding. Oh yeah. Um, uh, and you announced to everybody, oh, we're having a baby or whatever. Yeah. Before that, your dad came... So uh, I was sitting at a table with a um, bunch of people, uh, including Shaq and Alex and Charlie. Yeah. And um, uh, your dad came over, and there was some conversation going on, and there was something about like how old he was, right? And your dad... And that's the, the his age comes up, and he says he's 69. <laughs> and simultaneously, me, Shaq, and Alex all say nice at the same time. <laughs> and then we just fucking lose it laughing. <laughs> Uh, I've never heard this funny. story before. Yeah, 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 yeah. We That's all funny. it's like we're like mad. We're all just like internet sick brained at this point. Um but yeah, I your dad said he's sixty nine. It, wasn't just like, I, it went weird. completely over his head. I think it went all of us at the same time just said nice and it just went completely over his head. Uh but yeah, that was uh that was very funny. So um anyway, I always think about sixty nine uh in, in that context. Um anyway, hello Bali, welcome to the podcast. How are you doing? I'm doing well. We are recording this ahead of time because i am attempting to move house um, attempting hopefully yes. everything this is this is before the move is attempted so hopefully it all goes well but yeah, yeah that's why we are um doing this ahead of time did you mm-hmm. know it's really it's still annoying to move internet providers in oh wow you can't Shocking. do it in under two weeks jesus that sucks. Two weeks. it's just a rule wow. apparently all the companies do this this is the uk obviously so it's like so does this mean you're not going to have internet when you move in for four days okay yeah wow but i will make sure that final fantasy 7 rebirth is updated yes yeah <laughs> Get all the patches. i should be okay to plug okay. in my ps5 and yeah you'll be game. fine you'll be fine um, it's all good so you can use your 4g if you need yeah i've got my 4g so. to tether and i've got my 4g obviously to get my podcast so. except if they decide to do a 70 gig patch in which case oh boy <laughs> that's when things so get dicey. ps5 you can choose to not update and play on Yes, you can. Yeah. You can't do that, to my knowledge, on Xbox, unless I've got oh, the setting okay. change. But yeah. maybe it's the same. I don't thing, think yeah. you can on Switch either. Maybe. Mm. Um, mm. Anyway, but uh, anyway. so yeah, we're recording ahead of time, and because we're recording ahead of time, obviously Nintendo are going to reveal the Nintendo Switch Two at some point in the first half of March, because that was like that original rumor. So we we apologize profusely that we're not commenting on that trailer drop because uh, yeah. of course, uh huh, yeah definitely did happen definitely happened um yeah um so uh because of that uh, we're doing uh, a little bit of a thing that we do in times of need of crisis so of course going back to our good old favorite pal the jukebox uh bally people haven't heard of the jukebox before what is it and why are we doing it we test each other on video game music so this is a jukebox double whammy so to start mm-hmm. the show uh mbz oh sorry i'm going to test mbz on five songs so i've taken five songs from five different games and mbz has to guess what game that song is from mm-hmm. now all of these games are games that mbz has played and they have to have come out on a nintendo platform mbz doesn't have to have played them on a nintendo platform but they have to have come out on a nintendo platform um, and then mbz is going to do the same to me he's going to have five songs from five vi- different video games that i have played uh, and all on Nintendo platforms. And we should also say that we're not, we've got a, a master document of every single previous Jukebox episode we've ever done, and you are not allowed to repeat games. Mm-hmm. You, you have to pick brand new games, um, when I say brand new, like not used before in the Jukebox format. Uh, so these are all new songs, new games um, that are, we're going to have to test each other on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I looked through all of them and i actually made some amendments to the list because i realized we haven't written zelda next to a bunch of games so i wrote zelda next to twilight princess and phantom hourglass and all these games okay, yeah, so that enough. when we search if you want to search zelda and see which zeldas haven't been used because we're going to have the master document open while we're guessing because it gives yeah, us exactly. a little leverage on understanding uh-huh. what it might be what it isn't essentially it isn't, yeah exactly. yeah which can help um in some cases but uh yeah uh that is basically it and so we're gonna go um bally's gonna test me first and then we'll take a break and we'll do me testing bally and we'll see who gets the most points who uh does the best and of course 
do feel free to play along at home always like hearing how people did uh, so you know once you've listened uh, hop onto the discord say hi and uh, tell us uh, how you did did you beat our scores were you better than us probably you were because we're not great at this game sometimes uh, although last time i did get all of them right i believe um, yes i mean which, last uh, time you tested me and i got four out of five and then the time before that uh, i tested you and it was a bit of a jrpg special kind of mm-hmm. by accident but also kind of on purpose and then well, well so that previous one that we did was another double whammy it was a double whammy jukebox oh, it was because it was the yeah, same episode, episode 244 um, so yes double yeah. whammy um, um yeah I, I got four out of five you got five out of five so yeah mm-hmm. you, you won the round i did uh, but we'll see this time if you at home can also win the round um so bali uh, i guess without further ado shall we take a listen to the, before we start, has, is there any um, theming that you've gone for here? Anything? Any overarching? I couldn't possibly reveal that here. Oh, okay, now. okay, okay. Are you All right. Me? I see. I see. I see how it is. <laughs> too much information uh, Way would be too the much. case. Um, All right. Well, let's take a listen to the first song. Okay, so there's a couple of angles I can come at this from. Obviously, Metroid, like clear as day, is Metroid. Cannot be Super Metroid, we've used it. Cannot be uh, my beloved Prime Pinball, we've used it. (laughs) Cannot be Samus Returns, we've used it. Now, here's the thing. I recently have played Metroid Prime, and that should stand out to me, but for some reason it's not standing out. Like, And I think this is a... It's a Metroid-y enough Metroid song that could be in multiple Metroids. This could be a Federation Force fuckery, right? Uh, or it could be in a legit Prime uh, pick. And I think this song probably could exist in both games because it is a it's a bit of a Metroid Universal. Now, when it comes to Prime Two, it's not that because, as we all know, Prime Two is the wah, 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 the classic. Such a such a tune. A fucking banger. A fucking banger. Um, so it can't be that. Uh, and I haven't played it. Although to technically I have played it, but haven't finished or fully played it in my adult life. Um, so I think I think it has to be Metro Prime. And I think if it's Federation Force, you're a son of a bitch. But I think I'm going to say I'm going to say Metroid Prime is my final answer because... Of course, as soon as Bali would jump at the fucking chance to use Metro Prime music, and he hasn't been able to for the last however many years because I've not played <laughs> it. So the first thing he would do is go to Metro Prime. So my guess is Metro Prime. That is incorrect. Are you fucking okay, kidding me? Um, this is not a Metroid game. Oh no! Oh no, I know exactly! Oh no, I'm a fucking idiot! Oh, I do know wanna, exactly what wanna... it is! No. You've obviously not got the point, but you're oh, have a swing. Oh my god, I know exactly what it is, and you have actually fucking bamboozled me, you <laughs> piece of shit. <sighs> it's Axiom Verge. It's fucking Axiom this Verge. This is the, the title theme, the main theme for Axiom Verge. I can't believe I just fucking <laughs> shot myself in the foot like that. That was unbelievable. <laughs> I loved your Metroid Prime logic. I didn't even think about that. Because for the famous um, jukebox one where I got you in all sorts of twists and turns with between final fantasy 6 and chrono trigger i was purposefully trying to do something <laughs> tricksy um whereas this time i wasn't trying to be tricksy and you've kind of tricksied yourself a bit with that but that is, i just tied myself in knots that is um, that is really funny but um yeah axiom verge and 
Wow, you know it really what? does sound like Metroid, doesn't it? That speaks to how fucking faithful this game is, doesn't it? Like, totally. from a musical perspective, even, that I was like, oh, that's that's absolutely Metroid. Like, that is a classic Metroid uh, song. And I liked your logic of, here are all the Metroid games on the list. It's none uh-huh. of these. Yeah. So, there we go. It must be this one, but yeah. Yeah. Axiom Verge, hell of a game. I think um, definitely challenging, really difficult, um, but a really good soundtrack. Uh, one that... I probably should uh, listen to more to get more familiar so that I don't get bamboozled, but too late now, I guess. Um, I feel like Axiom Verge 2 has slightly different vibe to its music and tone. It's definitely, it's a very different game. I yeah. think in some ways a better game, um, but I think the original has, it has a really strong identity, you know? Um, yeah, it's it's it it's very strong identity, but it's, it's so, it's quite strict on the things it is doing that are super metroid and are metroid and Mm -hmm. but it's not just copying them it's really it's got some really interesting unique weapons now i can't really remember a lot of those unique weapons but i remember them being really weird is that there's basically it's built around the glitch gun really right that's kind of the core one where you can glitch Mm. parts of the environment and weird stuff will happen it is like basically you know taking the idea of nes games and the weird stuff you could do by like warping through walls and stuff like that but making that actually a core part yeah, of the game yeah. experience um, and it was i remember it being tough as balls but in a good way yeah. and came out the other end thinking that's a that was a really good game yeah yeah it's it's great um so i think often forgotten about in conversations when people talk about the best indie games or like the ones that you should play on switch i think axiom verge is definitely up there that people should yeah. if you want a another metroidvania that it leans much more on the metroid because there's not many that lean on the metroid kind of aesthetic aesthetic side of things no. um it's definitely the one to go to uh, and i would recommend the sequel as well the sequel is a very different game but i think like kind of an explorer's dream really like it's such an exploration focused game that i really liked um so yeah yeah, yeah. shout out to axiom verge and shout out to you for fucking bamboozling me all <laughs> damn damn genuine me. accidental bamboo yeah but, um, yeah well it works so I put that out there. Um, all right uh let's move on to song number two That's tricky. That's some chill, um, chill vibes. Very chill vibes. Um, okay, so here's my thought process. Um, I was waiting for like a core melody to come through to like give me a thread to hang on to, and it didn't quite happen. There was some. There was a little thing at the end that I was like, I can almost grasp that, um, but I, I'm not a hundred percent certain. So to me, this is giving big farming game vibes it's either farming game vibes or it is like chill town vibes um which both kind of work in the same way i guess um so that's the two things i think the problem for me is that my farming game go-to would be harvest moon a wonderful life that we've already used so it can't be that so it has to be something else and it doesn't have the sound of a stardew valley about it um so that means it has to be something that is i think just a cozy kind of explorery type of game like a short hike i think has some nice vibes to it but is it that type of bouncy i don't think it's that quite bouncy i think this is a bit too like this is a bit this animal crossing has its own identity and that's not in this song so i don't think it's an animal crossing game um I did play a little Gator game recently, and 
uh, I don't recognize this from that. Your logic is getting there. Yeah. So, so it is. It. Oh gosh, this is very challenging. But I, it has to be something in this like indie cozy oeuvre. Do you want more clues? Because you're a little bit off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Give away me, from give indie. me a hint. Away from indie. Away from indie. Okay. 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 But a cozy. Away from indie. Away from farming. Away from farming. Okay. Cozy, wow. but also explorery. Cozy, but also explorery, but not indie? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Okay, this is difficult. Um, I... I really... I don't know. I th- can you give me, like, an era? Like, is this a more modern... This is slash... last... When is like, last three years? Last three years, and it's not an indie, and it's not a farming... Yep. That is really like it has to be a actual Nintendo thing then. And what have Nintendo done in the last three years on the Switch that could be considered among this? T- oh, oh, like I don't. It's not. I don't th- like it has shades of. Oh, it has kind of Kirby shades in a way. Maybe that could be like the hub area for Forgotten fucking city whatever it's called uh yeah forgotten town what the fuck is it called that kirby game kirby land, forgotten forgotten land. land. that's the one yeah um uh oh there's also mm, octopath traveler but i think oh octopath traveler 2 bally does like octopath traveler 2 a lot that is but then you wouldn't have said the last three years i don't think octopath be... is that cozy personally. no it's not that cozy also yeah. it has enough distinct uh feel to it yeah i I think my best guess here is, hmm, yeah, I'm going to say it is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I think that is probably the best answer I have. That so your final say it. answer. It's my final answer. That is incorrect. Fucking God um, damn it. It's a Pokemon game. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, oh, is this, this can't be Legends Arceus, can it? No. It's fucking Scarlet Violet? No. Oh. What the fuck are the Pokemon games have I played in the last three years? Uh, it's not Sword and Shield, because we already used that. It's not Sword and Shield. What the fuck is this? I actually have no idea. <laughs> uh, do you want me to tell you? Yes, please. This is new Pokemon Snap. Oh my god. Um, So this song is just kind of like the song that's playing when the game boots up and like you're in the menus and you're about to go on your mission. So it's like that kind of like, we're just chilling on the, it's the research lab. It's just the, it's the chill vibes. It's cute, but we're exploring, you know? Damn. This was a hard one. I can't deny it. very difficult. It was a very hard one. No, that, that makes sense. I didn't love Pokemon or new Pokemon Snap, I should say. Um, And probably another game that i probably didn't play with the soundtrack on that much i probably just like had a podcast going <laughs> you've got to stop rolling out that excuse I for do. every single game no i do but it's true it's true for a lot of games so you know um but yeah okay yeah i get that i i guess the the music of this game didn't really stand out that much to me um is it was it something that kind of like stuck with you at all no i was like I want to. I was hoping there'd be a more bombastic main theme I could have picked, but this mm. this game doesn't really have one in the traditional sense. It doesn't really do bombast, does it? Right. So I went with kind of what I thought would be the of a very hard game to pick music from. I thought this would be the easiest one to nail and be like, oh, okay. Right, yeah. I thought I did think you'd get closer to that sounding like a Pokemon game, though. I definitely yeah. thought it had a very Pokemon vibe. It does have, um, when you think about it, it does kind of have that air to it. And like when you think about what are the kind of, you know, happy go lucky type of games in Nintendo's uh, kind of catalog, I mean, Pokemon is a go to. So I probably should have thought about it alongside stuff like Animal Crossing. I do and, think Forgotten Land, ha- Kirby Forgotten Land, has a lot of Pokemon vibes in it soundtrack. Yeah. So like, I mean, I do think that was a, a closer answer than it perhaps otherwise seems. Yeah, there's the Awata connection there with Hal and with there the Pokemon Company. Yeah. So, you know, there's definitely some crossover. I, I think I think like the hub area of Forgotten Land, it felt like it could have a, a soundtrack that sounded exactly like that. And I wouldn't think it was out of place, you know. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I've got an important question for you. All right. right. Are you okay. ready to rock? I bloody hope so. Here we go. Here we go.
And this sounds very familiar. Like, especially that trill at the end. Um, there's something... To, like, I'm like, I... It... So this is, this is tricky because, <laughs> like, it just sounded like a Guitar Hero game. I was like, this is just... It's just like a song from Guitar Hero. But it's like not a maybe... Guitar Hero game. That would be very okay. unfair. Yeah. And, um, I promise you it's not. I, I was going to say, like, because you could have, like, taken it from, like, one of... Not the original tracks, but, like, there is a... There are tracks that are, like, done for multiplayer purposes. And I can't remember if any of those are, like, original kind of songs or not. I think it's The Devil Went Down to Georgia or something that gets used a lot of times, right? Um, right. But, yeah. Um then i was like metal hell singer but that's not on switch and so i'm like man that what is a metal sound like the that trill at the end sounds so goddamn familiar but i just can't put my finger on what it is um so yeah i'm, I'm struggling with this one i think there's a ha huh, it's like dun, 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 like that oh man some, something about it is really getting to me and i have heard this before there's just, yeah. a point about midway through the song that it does mm-hmm. something that is like huh. loads of other songs in this game does something okay it's like a oh okay um like hits a high note um it's just like a way that all the songs in this game are made and i was like okay MBZ's going to know lots of these songs. But I bet he doesn't know this one. Oh my god, you piece of shit. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, fuck. Um, Wow. Like, yeah, like the only only games I can think of this type of music is one, Guitar Hero slash Rock Band Games, two, Metal Hellsinger of recent times of what I've played. Um, And like... I guess there Those are, are the only games you can think of that have heavy me- metal the moment, rock music. Yeah, if throughout. I, yeah, like there's definitely, hmm, it's it's too heavy for a lot of games. I think, like I like a game this like is the heaviest uh, song in the game. Oh, okay, interesting. And there's a reason for that. Like there is a um. Like, there's a lot of different music in the Bayonetta games, a lot of different music in, like, games like Astral Chain, but that's that's all, like, cybernetic cyberpunky. Um, yeah, nothing that speaks to this exact kind of vibe. Um, this is an indie game. This is an indie game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then that definitely widens things out. Like, I guess there are... There are games that have a musical bent to them. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is. I think I do, because I'm thinking of another musical game that I have played recently, and that works because I think part of the game is about getting to music like this. So I think I have my guess. My guess, Bally, is The Artful Escape. That is my guess. Is that your final answer? Final answer, yes. That is incorrect. Oh my, are you fucking kidding me? I thought I'd got there. I thought I was like, so, yeah, that's it. It's the whole journey of him, you know, going from the folk music to the rock music, the pop opera, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is one game with some of the heaviest guitar rock music that we can think of in video games that is one of our favorite video games of all time. Oh my God. What am I missing That here? game, do you want me to tell you the game? Yes, that please. That game is Hades. Oh my fucking god! So this is the song that plays on Hades. This is Hades' form. Hades's yeah. third phase. Oh, you piece of shit! So this is called ah. the Unseen Ones. Um, and so he- when you um play the game on Extreme Measures Four, uh huh, in the Pact of Punishment, Hades gains new attacks, abilities, increased health, and increased damage, and a third phase. Mm-hmm. And yep. this is the song that plays for the third phase, which I have never fought. I have never <laughs> fought his third phase. Um, but I but... was confident there was enough in this song. You're right. And if if you listen to this song again, there's a like, yes. it's like a, this hum and it's in so many haiti songs well, well that's what i'm saying that trill at the end the, duh, 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 the yeah. that is that was the thing that was pinging my recognized thing in my brain and um yeah it wasn't it just wasn't quite enough for me to get there but, but i was like um, we've got to use hades 
but because Hades is Hades and it's there's just so, many so songs, iconic, it's so yeah. iconic. There's so many songs we both know well. I still think MBZ can get this based oh, on God, like, fuck. just because of the type of song. But yeah, it was, I'm having a bad day. I'm having a bad day today. It was a tough uh, one. Going, it was a tough yeah, one. Yeah, challenging. Um, but good. I'm glad that we've we've used Hades because it is, I think, one of the great soundtracks of it's, all time. It's absolutely top draw. It's yeah. Incre- like it was a privilege to look through Hades songs trying to find yeah man like that's this. a joy <laughs> but so many of the songs have that really distinctive sounding um it's it's like a it's not a metal guitar it's a metal sounding guitar but mm-hmm. it's, it's it's acoustic How, what am i trying to say yeah it's, i know exactly what you're like mean. A, yeah. the, you know the chord that plays like that's that sound the guitar used for that is used in almost every single song and i was like i cannot yeah. pick a song that has this guitar he'll no. spot it immediately exactly so that's why so we went iconic. full metal and i was like right. this song sounds ridiculous what is this i looked up I was like, oh this is the song that plays on Hades' third phase if you do uh-huh. the insane shit behind this game but yeah, yeah. and i was Lit- like literally the one song in the game that i would not have heard a hundred times i was also um, really naughty and there are definitely very Hades trills in other parts of this song. And I was oh. like, but we're going to go for this 45 seconds. <laughs> okay, you just try to throw me off the set as much as possible. Um, um, but yeah, I was, which worked. Hey, yeah. it worked out. So uh, there you go. Good stuff. Um, yeah, we should we should probably like, I want to do some more music uh, episode stuff. Like I on the, you know, that one I did for um, yeah. uh, the Patreon. Yeah, I want, I'd love to go through some of our my favorite games and just run through like some of the best tracks and Hades is a great candidate uh, for that so yeah hopefully we'll do some of that down the line at some point but uh, i guess i'll see if uh, i can uh, continue my journey to fail bally or will i maybe get one correct just one Um, last point on that song it also features like two extra guitarists i believe they are it's like masahiro aoki and daisuke kurosawa so okay very cool shout out nice shout out um all right let's go for song number four Let's do it. Okay, uh, I it's definitely a tricksy song because there's a bit of a journey to go on with that one. Um, so, so. I think the theme of my list is tricksy. Uh, yeah, I think that is the theme, That's isn't the it? Theme. It's basically like, how can we trick MBZ in the best way possible? Um, so, thought process here. Number one, um, Japanese stylings, like interesting instrumentation, kind of, uh, voices in there as well as soon as it started i was like this sounds like a turn-based battle starting now here's my weak point with these songs Bally. i think every game's an rpg is the problem <laughs> i think i always do that i'm like it's it is japanese sounds... it is not an rpg yeah exactly yes um which i figured out near the end but okay um so i was thinking that and i was like but there's there's a bit of nintendo energy to this and i was like but Bally wouldn't choose it so my initial thought was sushi striker because there is a there is a Nintendo energy and a Japanese feel, and that's a very Japanese game from Nintendo. And I was like, that has a vibe to it. Um, so I was like, it could be, but I just I just don't think that would be the case. Um, so it's a cool game, great soundtrack. Now, here's the problem. I think there are three potential options here <laughs> oh, for what this is. I'm enjoying this journey um, so much. <laughs> because at the end, I was like, no, 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 wait a second. No, 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 no. This is Japanese and it is Nintendo, but it is not what you would think it is because it's got a weird instrumentation and it had that little trill at the end which clued me in of like, I've heard that, 
a lot that is a splatoon thing that is a splatoon sound and then it came together and i was like this is a weird instrumentation it's splatoon the question is which fucking splatoon game is it um and so i would say it's either two or three it's not splatoon and i feel and i feel like it has wait what i'm saying it's, it's not splatoon <laughs> i'm trying to help a bit here because i, I it's, i've been brutal so far but like oh, bally you can't do this to you've just collapsed my entire like theory <laughs> like you have just broken every like ounce of i like your splatoon theory though oh god and in some ways it's along the right lines oh no don't say that okay but like i have heard this and it feels like recently so i was gonna say three because it feels like i recognized it from more of a recent but this, this game is, is more this, recent than three. it feels very recent it feels like really it's more recent than splatoon 3 yeah it feels really really recent like you have just played this kind of recent and like what have i just played so the tricksy part of this song is it doesn't sound like other music in the game yes it's for yes. a specific thing now i just can't think of anything that i've played um and like i i want to say like is it is it from pokemon skull and violet is this another pokemon trick you're trying no to pull pokemon, on me no pokemon no pokemon no pokemon okay because there is a stuff... japanese game yeah came out japanese developed game um okay. came out very recently i don't know why it would be this but maybe it is um i think i'm gonna say it's pikmin 4 because that's a game that came out last year and like maybe it sounds like this at some point uh and my final guess is pikmin 4 bally decent logic but it is not pikmin 4 how what is it this, what game, is this game is zelda tears of the kingdom what the fuck this is the fight against koga oh right that makes so much and when sense. i said there's three areas i meant sky land and right sub yeah and this takes place in one of those areas <laughs> japanese game wow big triple a game came uh -huh. out last year yeah both played it so yeah but yeah that makes Kirk sense theme. Uh, damn that is very tricksy uh it was, a, it was a bit too tricksy no but that's good i think that makes sense um i now that i think about it yeah that's exactly what he sounds like that uh that scandalous little thief um <laughs> uh which here's the thing though i actually will have heard that quite early in the game because i think i told you i i came across koga and that entire thing and i got the fucking um the item uh what do you call it the, but you fight him like builder. four times i know you do but you know I, I i played him quite early in the game to be right. to, to do all that quest line stuff i kind of cleared it before um going and doing everything else so i um uh yeah i i literally found that guy i think second day of playing the game um underground you really picked a great line to follow in that early yeah phase and you were mm -hmm. messaging me like Bally, i've just seen the most insane stuff uh -huh. and i yeah. it took me a while to get to that stuff i was finding yeah. some pretty cool stuff just not yeah. quite as insane as what you were finding early on but yeah, totally. yeah really cool all right well Bally, can i go for bust can i get all three wrong <laughs> it's all, all or five wrong there. it's all or nothing yeah i've got to get the last one wrong basically um yeah good stuff you've definitely uh you definitely put me through the ringer here so just remember uh, the theme is tricksy Trixie. Okay. Trixie. All right. Well, I th I think that I'm going to have to keep my uh, brain in check for this final one. Let's listen to song number five. <laughs> okay all right so this one don't fully recognize but has elements of things that i do so number one 
there's a distinctly mario feel to this song it has uh a exploration exploring a world i actually i think i think the answer just came to me actually as i was saying that my brain just kind of imaged a thing and now i'm going to go in a different direction than i was <laughs> but um as as that was happening i was like oh wait this feels like Mm, a bit of a different spin on it right okay so first mario and i was like well it's not gonna be mario wonder because valley wouldn't choose tears of the kingdom and mario wonder that's a bit of a cop out to just do two games from last year that nintendo put out um uh, but i also don't think it sounds like it uh then i went around the line of being like okay so what other mario games are there and then i was like wait mario and donkey kong just came out mario versus donkey kong and Bally said Trixie, and I was like, well, this motherfucker, has he taken the Mario vs. Donkey Kong modern song? But technically I've played it because I played the old one um, and used the modern song, but it's actually the old game. Um, and that could be this because Mario vs. Donkey Kong definitely has... I've not done that. That's not fair. Yeah, no, totally. But I, that was my brain thinking, okay. like, the possibility of Trixiness here. Um, <laughs> and uh, But then I was like, but no, that can't be the case because it just has a bit of an adventure feel to it it just has a bit of we're setting out on an adventure feel to it and that was the original feel that it has it's like whoa you're gonna explore a big the song is called the adventure begins yes exactly um so then as i was starting this sentence that i've been talking about (laughs) and i just said the thing just hit me in the brain i just saw i just saw a group of characters running in a row and amongst them was a character that has two long ears and that character was a fucking rabbit and so my guess is that it is either one of two mario plus rabbits kingdom battle or mario plus rabbits fucking sparks of hope and i think because i finished mario plus rabbit kingdom battle and not sparks of hope that is the choice so that is going to be my final answer on my long journey of what this fucking song could be so that's your final answer lock it in that is correct oh my thank there god thank go. you <laughs> thank you thank you, you holy shit there. oh my god yeah it just literally struck me as i was talking i was like wait it just flashed into my mind i was like no it has to be that it has to be that yeah well done oh well god done. um i did not set out with the theme of these five songs to be tricksy but uh-huh. um it definitely ended up that way <laughs> yeah yeah uh yeah i um i think there is a distinctly um adventure vibe to that last song so i think that it's like but mario doesn't fit that usually so it's like well what is the thing that melds those two together and i think that was what um kind of got me to the rabbits but the rabbits the first game has a really good soundtrack right grant kirk hope um doing a great job with that stuff i think it all sounds very good and um i feel like sparks of hope I haven't listened to enough of it and I haven't played enough of it, but would you say that it's on par or like as good or maybe not quite as up there yeah, as the, it's, the first game? It's solid, it's still great, but I think the most memorable part of either game and the strongest part of either game is that operatic boss fight and that kind of hence has probably the best song in the whole game is mm. that it combines the song with a really tough boss fight with something that is just hilarious and uniquely rabbits themed that i don't think either of the games ever reached that high ever again and it's like a mid mid game boss fight in the first game like it, it's still kind of the peak of that series i would say mm. so that's yeah. probably my favorite song as it were yeah i think so um very original uh very unique um but yeah good stuff all right well Bally, do you want to run down uh, the list again uh, to remind everybody what the songs were so the first song was the axiom verge main theme from axiom verge the second song was the research camp from new pokemon snap uh, the third song was the unseen ones from hades uh the fourth song was koga's theme from legend of zelda tears of the kingdom uh, and the fifth song was the adventure begins from mario plus rabbit's kingdom battle yeah uh some some games there that like are very recognizable um but uh unfortunately not recognizable enough for me today um but you know those damn podcasts getting in the way of that's they always get in the way every single time yeah um but uh i guess we'll see how bally fares because after the break we were gonna be uh testing him instead so don't go anywhere we'll be back right after this uh to see how bally does under the lights see you in a bit
All right, everybody, welcome back uh, from that abysmal performance. Um, but uh, <laughs> you know what? It's time, as they say, to get revenge. A uh, dish best served cold. Mm. Um, I don't, I've got some. I've got some ones in here that I think you'll get. Um, there's a couple of trickier ones, and there's also an interesting one that links to uh, <laughs> links to what you served me, uh, which is very interesting. Uh-uh. So we'll see how that happens. And if we should can, say uh, because we did this independently there's every chance we've replicated games here uh-huh, but it would, it would yeah. be entirely legal to yeah. have done that so yeah to totally keep in mind. so let's uh let's think about uh that and maybe some fun stuff will emerge but bali let's continue on uh by starting with the first song that i have for you so without further ado let's take a listen <laughs> is the first song for your uh brain to figure out ballet. why does everything so. sound like a jrpg yeah that's you know this know. that's the that's the, the single <laughs> thing that threads every jukebox song is every song sounds like it comes from a jrpg immediately yeah. when i hear strings and guitar i'm like that is like so iconically xenoblade to me mm. um and I've only played one Xenoblade game that I yeah. completed, and the other one mm-hmm. I didn't beat. Um, but I have played that game, Xenoblade Chronicles X. So it, would, it, I think it is fair game if you have picked that. But mm-hmm. I'm trying to just think. Xenoblade Chronicles has already been used as well yes. on the show. Yes. So, yeah. Um, is there anything else this could possibly be? There's so a- what I will say is that um, maybe similar to uh, New Pokemon Snap, it's a game that we have both played. I like it a lot more than you do. I mean, we obviously know that's true about Zelda Chronicles X, which mm-hmm. was my first theory. But then that's my may opened up the floodgates for these other theories I have now. I'm like, is it? What, you, what are your other theories? My other theory is Bayonetta Two. That's definitely a game that you love. That I was fairly mediocre on, um, and I don't associate that game just with like guitars and strings in the same way. So. Feels a similar Hades uh, problem of like trying to think of games that have a heavy uh, kind of feel to yeah, them. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, shall I beg for more clues or try and make a guess? Is that the fair thing to do? Yeah, I mean, I. What, what Are we leaning to? more AAA or indie? Uh, this is a Nintendo published video game. I mean. I'm still between Bayonetta 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles X in that case. Okay, I think I'm going to go for Xenoblade Chronicles X. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. That is incorrect. incorrect. Uh, and yeah, I wouldn't have chosen X again because you've not finished it. That's um, fair enough, yeah. But um, this Bally, uh, one of the great games of all time, uh, one of the ones I shout about nonstop on this podcast, this is... Code name Steam, oh. uh, <laughs> which, when you think about it, is like there is a kind of a heavy uh, kind of musical bent to Code Name Steam. Um, there is a rocking kind of like when you think about the music of you're like moving through the environment and stuff like that it is actually uh, quite strong uh, when you play through it. But uh, but yeah, this is uh, probably one that's hard to recall, I guess. Um, 
of like what the identity of it is because when i was listening to this i was like there's a lot of fire emblem in this and that kind of makes sense because it is an intelligent systems game right um so there is yeah, like something to that i do not remember strings in that game at all i would have if it was just the rocking i might have still gone with i think it's the yeah i would have probably that. still gone with like Xenoblade chronicles to be honest but, yeah um x i should say but uh, i uh, yeah i it the more i listen to it and more i'm like yeah of course this is a code name steam like mm-hmm. I, I probably could have should have got that one but yeah no i just it's a hard one to call there. to mind right like yeah. it's it's not the game that you think of um and yeah i i mean i love this game i think the music is actually very strong um, it is and strong is, is one of those things that uh, kind of carries it it's a good game you do like it a lot more than me but yes. it is a good game yeah i yeah. did have a good time mm-hmm. yeah um where's so. the sequel yeah where is it come on intelligent systems get out of that fire emblem gravy train and start giving us things that we actually <laughs> back want back on the advance wars one yeah. yeah um so yeah that song was called deadly dance 2 and i imagine it's more of a boss fighty uh type song okay yeah um, so all right. all right but yeah uh Cool the tricky the tricky day continues i guess uh, <laughs> we're just but, getting uh, tougher on each other we're just so. getting started yeah no i think uh, i think hopefully we should uh, get a little bit gentler from here so let's okay. see how we do i need to beat one out of five yeah absolutely failing I think, so far but i think we'll you'll be there. able to i think you'll be able to okay um, no pressure right. uh let's go for the second song song number two chill vibes <sighs> that one i'm absolutely nowhere with this one. oh no <laughs> oh no Bali, oh no um, okay um it is an indie game i will tell you um and mm. it is about uh just there's a there's there's heavy vibes and style to this game i will say it's it's um it's stylized um and it is also uh part of a series as well um so those are the hints i'll give you part of a series indie game have you played this game i have indeed and very much enjoyed it i think it's great who likes this game more me or you i think i like it more because i put it in my top 10 for the year and i don't believe you did i think i might have to throw in a a, a pass all right uh are you 100 percent certain unless you want to throw out any more clues uh it involves high scores Oh shit! Oh, I think you're giving it away a little bit there. I don't have to take a point for this. No, you don't. You, I think that was like the tipping point, really, to, yeah, to give it to you. Uh, yes. It must be Ollie Ollie World then. That is correct. Uh, yeah, I won't score you for that, yeah, but uh, that wasn't yes. a, wasn't a, a win. Yeah, but. wasn't an official win. Um, but uh, but yeah, Ollie Ollie World. Uh, the uh, the interesting thing about this soundtrack when I was looking it up is it's all songs that were not made for the soundtrack they were licensed for the game i believe because there's an entire youtube playlist and it's just like uh, this is again this is a song called this day by a band called pomrad um that's cool when they do that yeah and like it came out like 10 years ago but they licensed it for (laughs) this game and so the if you look at the ost stuff on youtube it's like different songs from different youtube channels because it's just compiling together all the music that was licensed for the game essentially um which is is very cool and uh yeah i this song i have in my head because when you edit game of the year videos you choose a song for stuff and you edit that video for so long that whatever song you choose for whatever game uh, yeah, yeah. i always it always gets stuck in my head so this one to me stands out a lot so maybe that's uh, that's why i was like oh bali might be able to get this but um that again was my experience of i think i used this for the show as well when we uh, did uh, break music so i've used it a couple of times um but uh yeah i think it's it's definitely a tricky one to get because it's 
like i think this this track speaks to the vibe of the game very strongly um and gets across like the feeling of it um you almost need the sound of the skate kind of like grind rails in the background to uh to to make it ping and recognize in your brain but uh but yeah Oli Oli world uh good game with good vibes yeah uh, game at so. 2022 so you, yeah very recent already yeah exactly um tough all right tough yeah, I think those are probably the hardest ones, those first okay. two. Uh, three so, out of three from here. Let's go. Yeah, here we go. It's definitely happening. I think this one, I feel like you should get this one. But oh, let's, let's see. Pressure. Let's see uh, how it goes. Let's listen to song number three. okay so jazz yeah few games i can think of that i've played with a lot of jazz 3d world mario 3d world which i believe has been used before uh i can't remember maybe it has been yeah 3d land has been used Mm, and 3d world so yeah not 3d world but like it's too over the top to be a nintendo game it's like Mm. it's too like yes nintendo have done jazz for 3d world but it's not like like that that song was like (laughs) goes for it uh then the other game i thought of was like ape out um and ape out is a lot more more rhythmical and less melody and i think that song sounded a lot more melody focused and the percussion wasn't the focus and i feel like percussion is the focus of the jazz that apow is going for sure and the third game that i think of i can't actually remember the name of it so i'm just checking my backlog it's on 3ds and we got it as part of like some promotion that gave us a ton of games um and it's called rhythm thief and the emperor's treasure oh right yes rhythm thief yep well the fact that you're going oh right yes (laughs) (laughs) it's not bloody rhythm thief Uh, that game is full of jazz and is so on point for this i i um sound i would say think more about the instrumentation and less about the idea of jazz uh, is what i will say to you instrumentation less about the idea of yeah. jazz think about games that use this type of instrumentation uh less about jazz itself i don't even know what that sentence means like <laughs> it's an instrumentation and ja- <laughs> instrumentation is the instruments used and jazz is the style of music right yeah i guess so yeah yeah okay. that's kind of what i'm getting at i guess okay yeah. but those two are really similar uh this this one is i i thought this would be a um a pretty a easy like slam dunk yeah. like <laughs> like this is this is the type of sound of this game uh definitely makes a lot of sense um it is an indie game uh another indie uh so mm. just keep that in mind uh it's not a big budget well i mean uh, probably had a lot of money but still um is an indie game uh and has this specific instrumentation i think i've thought of another indie game with a lot of instrumentation like this as you would say and it, this game does go mad for like as bombastic and jazzy and big band and other class not classical that's the wrong word but like that era and i'm leaning now more towards cuphead so the fact that you're not going oh cuphead means <laughs> oh cuphead i think it might be cuphead <laughs> rather than oh rhythm thief yeah oh, that's it's like i never that's thought the name of that. Of that one yeah um but if you go back and listen to the soundtrack of Rhythm Thief, you'll you'll totally get that I am mm, I was bang yeah. on with that. But okay, it's all right. clearly obviously not that. So I think I'm gonna go Cuphead as my final okay. answer. That you're locking it in? I am. That is correct. Okay. Uh it is in fact Cuphead. Yeah. I thought you'd get that straight away if I'm honest. Um I feel like the 
the big band is kind of what I was wanting to lean into. I didn't really think yes. about the, j- the jazz angle on that one, if I'm honest. Big band, I was like, jazz, there was overlap yeah. for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Cuphead is one of those games that always gets lauded for its visuals um, and its gameplay, rightly so. I think the music does almost as important a job of lifting yeah. the experience because especially you are fighting those bosses constantly non-stop. And I think part of the great thing about it is I don't believe it stops the music when you die like it the music keeps going underneath and it just continues to pick up um so it almost creates that loop of you don't feel like the restart is as maybe i'm wrong really? with that. i'm fairly confident you're wrong on that but yeah i, I think wrong. i am wrong what i want to say is that because the music is so intertwined with the starting point of your match yes that the point at which you die if it's like that what am i trying to say because it's intertwined with the song starting at the timing of the match when you die you will die at the same if you're having one issue on this particular part of a mm. boss you will die at that exa- exact same part of the song as well oh that's say. true yes um, so. although th- i think that will vary because it depends on how quickly you do damage right because the bar fills oh, based true. on no, that's true. the amount of damage yep. done so i still think there's probably some variance there but um but yeah it's uh i what, think when that uh delicious course um last delicious course uh, dlc came out was delicious last course i should say correct um, yes that just reminded me uh, cuphead is actually insanely good i can't remember where it was in our top 50 last time around but like it's i don't it's definitely not top 10 and it kind of maybe probably should be in an alternate list i don't know but like it's incredible that game. there was a universe in which i was considering giving that dlc my game of the year like i yeah. Yeah, i yeah. thought it was that fucking good like it was just exceptional on every level um and just a triumph of art i think like you know from every aspect and, and you know um, what it's a very tough game but i come away from that difficulty so satisfied yes um what was the really tough it was cyber shadow yeah cyber shadow that yeah, is God. the most brutal game i've ever beat i think like i found that game so hard i felt like a beat beat beaten to a pulp when i beat that game whereas cuphead yes it was really tough but really satisfying whereas mm-hmm. you know cyber shadow i just it, it just overstepped it's just not fair right just like, it's just not fair. fairness is such an important part of difficulty and i yeah. think cuphead is one of the most fair games also very challenging yeah so yeah, yeah um excellent good stuff all right well i'm glad you managed to get there i needed some uh, help but i did some help yeah. I'll some coaxing but I'll, I'll i'll give you that one uh all right uh let's go to song number four which hopefully is also uh okay. reasonably attainable let's say all right um, so let's have a listen I think we have different definitions of attainable oh no <laughs> oh no um so i think um the interesting thing is that we both chose two songs that have a bit of a japanese feel yeah to this them. is like the koga battle theme but chill uh-huh. yeah um so co- that theme koga's theme stood yeah. out because there's not really any other song in the game quite like it yes i would say that this song is very much speaking to the tone of this game um and the aesthetic of this game it doesn't the nintendo game so this is a game that came out on a nintendo system not made or published by nintendo it's a mm-hmm. third party game 
um and i will say that you and i have different opinions about this game ah okay i know the answer now <laughs> okay so maybe that was too much maybe i went a little too far uh with that it's very japanese i think a lot of this music in this game is very japanese obviously um and i think i like this game a lot more than you mm-hmm. and yeah it's okami that is correct it is okami um which i think like aesthetically is a very cool game and musically i think didn't stick with me massively like i don't recognize so this was the title music um Mm. the title track for okami um and i think there is a lot of music like this throughout the game um which is very much japanese infused and inspired but less i think distinctive for me personally Um, but i don't know if you recall too much about the soundtrack for okami yeah very traditional japanese is how i would have remembered it and that song speaks to that for sure and i think it's that really kind of because i'm not cultured enough to frequently listen to traditional japanese music it becomes overly similar when you listen to different tracks um so that's not to say like i probably should have still got this because ah yes traditional japanese okami very traditional I, my favorite thing about Okami isn't definitely not the music. It's like the, it's the art style, but it's like the, we are playing with Japanese mythology kind of thing. And, and mm. that, the way that story kind of goes and the world building and that kind of thing. And it's not the best from like a combat perspective either that game. So like combat music, not the strongest, but like world storytelling. That's kind of where I thought this game was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you think you would have gotten it if I haven't if I hadn't said that uh, uh, last hint? Not with that last hint. No, I wouldn't have got it. Okay, all I right. Have got it. Um, I, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know. You, you can take the point. I'm I'm happy to give you the point. I yeah, I just I, I think maybe just uh, in future, went one maybe a step too far. Softer clue. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's all good. Um, all right. Well, we have one more song to go. Um, so. I think this one's going to be interesting. <laughs> and I think maybe because I did give you a uh, uh, a heavier clue last time, maybe I'll just shut up this time and let you squirm. Uh, so <laughs> Let's do that. You've been very generous. So, I've scraped a couple of points, so yeah. I think it's only fair. All right. You keep stim. Yeah. Uh, so let's see if you can figure out this one, uh, which is song number five. that game that song is just my childhood so for those who don't know my mom bought a 30 pound second hand nintendo 64 around the year 2000 2001 and this game had just come out and this was my first ever like console game that i owned i didn't play at friend's house i had played handhelds before i had a game boy i'd played like pc games in the past before that but this was like I finally got my own games console and then 64 and let's play some Pokemon Snap. Um, and I think you said the clue earlier of like, yeah, one of these games links to another one. So this is definitely the game. And this song is very good. The intro song where it's the, the character in Pokemon Snap, Tracy, and he's going through this jungle and the song is like this eerie like and then the howl logo comes up it's, that is just so 
emblazoned in my retinas from like years ago in like 2000 2001 and i just remember it so clearly because then once that screen goes it goes this song and so yeah this is pokemon snap on the n64 be pretty wild if that wasn't the if this is not the pokemon correct. snap on the n64 <laughs> um yeah what, 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 I, what would I, you I say if refund. that was the case yeah um yeah you're you're 100 correct uh, okay. this is uh pokemon Star, which I, I have no like familiarity with this title theme at all i was like i'll just pick probably because that's what he heard a lot when he was younger i was like i don't know what other song to choose from pokemon snap but i was like wow you chose new pokemon snap and i chose regular pokemon snap that is very funny that that yes, happened yeah. uh, that as a part happened. of this um i would say i've sunk 30 to 40 hours into this game yeah, that seems reasonable. But it's um, like a, it's an incredibly. I completed the Pokedex in this game. Like I, I really oh, wow. went for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the hardest Pokemon to get was Muck. That Muck. God damn. Muck. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, I think it's a. I think it speaks a lot to uh, the role nostalgia and music plays uh, in that you, as soon as you start hearing this within like five seconds, you're like, I know what this is. Yeah. I was like, wow, yeah. that's wow, that's impressive because <laughs> like uh, some songs just like trigger that synapse right like they just totally. like uh absolutely uh get you instantly so um and that, it's weird because i've heard the first 20 seconds of this song a bajillion times but then as the song went on like i've never heard this bit before uh, because it just you just going. don't sit on it's the title, title screen it's, this is the so you get the intro with the the howl logo you see mew appear it's like this whole mysterious thing and then you know how games have the intro and then boom title screen mm-hmm. press start this is the music that comes in on the press start. So it's like, Got you, you hear okay. that, right. right? Press start, let's go. And then, yeah, it's, yeah, iconic. I, it's one of my most nostalgic games is Pokemon Snap. Like it mm. would, it would be so high on like a nostalgia top 50 for sure. And I had a really great time with new Pokemon Snap. It wasn't, it didn't make my top 10, but I still really enjoyed it. And I, I, I liked how much that game harkened to, the original like they really didn't change much at all they just made it look a lot prettier and updated yeah. music and other things like that and obviously the, all the pokemon because pokemon snaps gen one um and it was kind of like the kind of perfect sequel but then made me realize it's an incredibly simple formula and maybe hasn't aged the best but the nostalgia for i mean i have a lot of nostalgia for gen one and gen two pokemon regardless whether that's pokemon stadium pokemon snap the cards the anime the game boy games like it all of it is incredibly nostalgic and pokemon snap is firmly in and amongst games like pokemon gold silver pokemon stadium like my memories of like the late 90s early 2000s of just being Mm. pokemon obsessed and one of my pokemon obsessions that definitely you didn't share in the same way because you didn't know before this was like pokemon stadium it was the kind of game we'd play at my house but pokemon snaps not the most fun multiplayer game i think we maybe did a few runs together and you're like oh this is cool but now let's play some pokemon stadium because that's ultimately the the the, the more fun thing to do when your friends around right mm-hmm. like it's not pokemon snaps not really that game yeah absolutely and uh, you played I, this game on the wii right i gifted you it yeah you did yeah and i remember sending you a picture on the wii message thing of like a moltres i think yeah. it was um so yeah that was cool that that was one of the games that actually used that functionality um and yeah i never really got past like the second stage in it i think damn, i like played it damn. for maybe a sum total of an hour and a half God and then just never went back to it so yeah um, and i i think that's totally understandable because I think I just have a lot of nostalgia for this game and mechanically as a game, it's not that great. If you love yeah. Pokemon and love the first generation, it's really great for that. It's cool. It's it's fun. Mm-hmm. Like the music, great. The different lands are great. I, I think but... like there's something to be said of like the way that Pokemon games were back in the day, there wasn't that sense of going out and like living the anime as uh, a way of putting it, right? Like, the fact that you could see them actually moving around in the wild interacting like real creatures i mm. think it says a lot to like why people liked this game back then because nothing else was totally. doing it. and in the world where there was no open world pokemon game back then you're right it's like the only depiction of pokemon in the wild in some ways and mm-hmm. in a 3d space for sure and, and yes that's really cool yeah totally so 
yeah i uh yeah i just don't have uh as much attachment to it um uh, as evidenced by the fact that i didn't <laughs> didn't get correct the the new pokemon stop uh song when uh, you chose that one um so there you go um well but i think that gives you the the win with three out of five i think even if we take away the okami point uh you still would have uh come through uh, with that pokemon snap so i think uh managed to pit me this time uh, in what i will say is definitely a uh, more challenging uh, round of jukebox i'll, I'll um, admit though if you gave me no clues on any of these i'd be sitting on one out of five right now for sure mm, and there would be pokemon mm. snap 100 percent. interesting i think like the cuphead one was interesting because i felt like you probably could have gotten there eventually but um yeah it was it was definitely i think you went down the the wrong rabbit hole to begin with with jazz i think was the uh the achilles yeah. heel there potentially yeah. but um, i mean there is a lot of jazz in cuphead but you're right big band is the main mm -hmm. thing and like we said yeah. there's a lot of overlap but yeah absolutely uh well there you go ladies and gentlemen how did you do did you get any of these i don't know it was pretty it was a challenging one uh for sure um but uh yeah we'll uh we'll we'll return to jukebox again i think it's it's always good fun uh i think just maybe just getting harder uh as uh you start to go out into the um the deeper cuts the harder games it's a tough balance as well because we have had rounds where one of us gets all of them and mm -hmm. i think nothing's ever going to reach the high of chrono trigger final fantasy 6 again but no. that's the goal that's the, yeah. what you want to try and achieve i did that by accident with axiom verge but that's the kind of gem we want to try and challenge each other mm -hmm. with where we think we know it. it might be this it might be that and there's yeah. a few ideas but yeah i was a bit I was struggling. Okami and like Cut Bed and Oli Oli World. I was, yeah, it just wasn't coming to mind. But yeah, mm -hmm. Pokemon Snap. That hit. That hit. That hit the memory banks. Bang on. That could not have there hit we go. harder. Arguably very good uh all right well uh that is going to do us for today's episode uh thanks everybody for listening um and uh yeah if you want more stuff like this uh then there is some of it uh on patreon uh i would like to do some more music stuff on there and uh, hopefully we'll do in the future uh but you can go and check us out over there We've just done the bonus bits with yes. an extra song each yeah uh, we picked a non-tender song to mm -hmm. test each other on each um so you can listen to that on bonus bits and that's on the two dollar tier on patreon absolutely um and uh, you can also uh go check us out for other stuff over there if you go to patreon.com slash this nintendo life you can get extra episodes and fun stuff um and bali would like to thank some of our patrons yes thank you to our ten dollar tier plus patrons they are zach s thomas matthew albert wicked gamer uk allen turtle and ali t thank you all for your ten dollar tier plus support but thank you to all of our other patrons um we really appreciate all the support you give the show um mm -hmm. we should say ali t it's become a bit more active on the mm. little discord over there um so active by which you mean one post <laughs> that he made post. today um, yeah. and as you will see from that post he's very busy at the moment um, yes so go say hi to ali t on discord yes uh, i'm, I'm convinced the it's the real one i think it is the real one yeah. yeah it might be the real one well it has to be the real one because he, he let slip personal information that a fake person would not know so exactly uh yeah so definitely go uh and have a look over there um ali t has been i've seen i've checked his uh uh profile on my friends list he's played 15 hours of balatro bali so uh, good effort you know. ali t is that the only game he's played since this personal news uh yeah i believe so okay i believe so right. so he's just right. hunting for some more stuff basically right now so go help the man out um lovely uh you can of course find us in very different places across the internet such as twitter.com or threads or blue sky where i am at lord nbz uh also i'm at nbz on blue sky bally where can they find you i'm at ballyman 91 that's b-a-l-l-y-m-a-n-9-1 and that's on twitter and blue sky as well all right you can find us at tnl podcast as well for updates about the show and things we're doing uh, and you can also find the show on various places across the internet such as spotify stitcher download us to any podcasting app of your choice and listen and uh enjoy and subscribe and all the good things the cheer and the merriness um and yeah so yeah that's it that's the show um bally you hopefully will be in a new house uh, by hopefully. the time that we do the hopefully. next episode the um, dream is to have a spot where i record the podcast and i don't have to set up every time oh my I god just, my my laptop my microphone it's all ready to go and mm -hmm. i don't have to move rooms set up temporary things so yeah hopefully hopefully that's all in place for next time we'll see yeah that'll be good uh and uh yeah we'll uh 
we'll keep trucking on um some stuff is happening soon uh gdc is coming up i'm going to be over there uh the princess peach game is coming out i'm uh, gonna be interested in checking that out and seeing what's going on uh and nintendo uh, probably not gonna say anything about <laughs> the new system so we'll just keep waiting i guess we'll just keep waiting until that eventually happens but until that does happen uh we'll be here talking about nintendo stuff regardless so uh we'll uh, see you in a couple of weeks time until then thanks everyone for listening back soon bye bye musical interlude used on today's show was A Friend on My Mind from Xenoblade Chronicles, copyright Nintendo and Monolithsoft, 2010.